Hello and welcome to the Spirit Studios podcast. My name's Al, I'm a tutor here at Spirit uh, and I'll be your host today and I'm joined by one of our second year music production students, Harvey Bishop. Hello, hello. Maybe just to get us started, could you give us a bit of background about yourself, maybe how you got into music production to begin with? Yeah, cool. I mean, I think like most people who are like really into music, like really musical household, my right. parents didn't play instruments or anything, but they were just massive music lovers, so there was music on constantly. Um, and they had really eclectic taste, so like depending on when you came to my house, like depending on what you're going to hear, like hip hop, house music, like classic rock. Yeah. A lot of like Manchester bands and like alternative stuff, soul music, funk, so I had like a good grounding in that. Um, my granddad was, my granddad was a drummer. He just played in like pub bands and stuff around Salford and later taught himself guitar. Cool. So he taught me guitar when I was young. Um, he kind of just, you know, he taught me the chords, you know, got me started and I was lucky because I kind of, I didn't have lessons or anything, but I had YouTube. Right, okay. So that's like, you know. And what sort of stuff were you learning? Mainly just riffs from songs that, that I liked. It, I wasn't necessarily learning like my scales and then stuff like that. It was just learning riffs at the start. Just having fun with it really. Yeah. It wasn't like too worried about being like a guitar virtuoso. It was just being yeah, able to yeah, show yeah. me friends that I can play whatever riff. Seven Nation Army is like the first one. There we go, yeah, yeah. yeah. Were yeah there any, was definitely early. Any other riffs in particular where you're like, I need to learn this? I mean, yeah, a lot of like White Stripe stuff, I think. Yeah, yeah. Um, some classic rock stuff for like my granddad. Uh, Arctic Monkeys stuff, you know. Of course. Stuff that was like, could be done on the E string. Yeah, okay. And then yeah. like progress from there. And then when, like when I was in high school, um, I started playing in bands and stuff, which I enjoyed, but I didn't really know if I was going to pursue it after high school. Like right. I was in two minds whether to progress and do like a performance course at college or like go and get an apprenticeship and like start working, maybe do like a band thing on the side. But my careers advisor was like, you should go to college, you should do it. And um, she's like, I'll set you up an interview. I like, it was like, all right, it's done. I'd be there. It was at a college on Oxford Road called um, Access to Music. It might yeah, be yeah. called something different now. Um, but I went and did the performance course there. She's good, but I was, I don't know. I don't think I was fully committed. Like, I was like 17, 18, and I was kind of, you know, wanted to go out a lot. And <laughs> But I thought I'd get my qualification, and um, I thought, you know, a time to like find a job, really. So I was working in construction for like two years. It's around that time I became really interested in um, like hip hop production. All right. A lot of sampling, like I've done sampling stuff, like yeah, yeah, in your yeah. classes and stuff. I became super obsessed with that. And I kind of um, bought like a little MPC controller and the Akai software on like my HP laptop, which was like ancient. <laughs> like I took it to Curry's and was like, can you wipe all the viruses off it? And like, he was like, mate, throw this away. <laughs> but I was like, no. So I was just doing that in, in like kind of my free time, which I had very little of because like I was on site early and we was working late and it was, I was kind of like annoyed that I didn't really have time to delve deeper into it. Mm -hmm. And um, it was about about the time I discovered sort of spirit and the the degree course through UCLan. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, you know, I can always come back to, to the work and I think I should like give it a shot. So I quit my job, I, I applied and then... Um, I was getting the train home, actually. We was working down south, and it was the weekend. I was getting the train home. I thought, you know, finally my life's, like, back to normal. And then a couple of days later, lockdown. Like, the whole world is in lockdown. Which is, you know, at the time, it was, like, a scary thing. But looking back, it was great, because I all of a sudden had this free time to just focus on sort of production. So were you using that extra time you found yourself with to, to do Absolutely, that? Absolutely. Like, yeah. through lockdown, it was, like like a day job like right like six hours a day just learning like because i was rubbish when i started i mean i'm still you know i'm not amazing but um but then i sort of started getting more interested in like recording yeah and like recording bands and stuff i thought you know i can't really do that from home i can't learn how to like record a drum kit and then you know load a drum kit into right. my mum's conservatory so <laughs> I was she might have something to say about yeah it. so yeah. um i couldn't wait to start 
Nice. Yeah, and uh, that's that's kind of how we got here. Yeah, because the stuff that um, I heard of yours um, sort of throughout first year, the the sample production and the beats you were making, they felt really tight, really well realized, and I kind of thought, okay, this is you know, it's the hip hop direction that. Um, you, that's the kind of stuff that you're uh, most focused on. It felt very considered. And we were, you mentioned the other day that um, kind of now going into second year, it's the band side of things, which seem yeah. to be uh, the thing you're focusing on more, maybe something that you're exploring a little bit more. Is that sh is that like a shift or are you sort of balancing both? Yeah, I mean, I, th I think it is. It's, it's kind of like at the start, I was like, you know, doing the hip hop beats and stuff. Yeah. I was kind of like, oh, this is, you know, going to be my career. Like, I'm going to be doing this. But it's kind of took a back seat. Um, right. As I spent more time in the studios and, and just the whole recording process, I'm just super interested in. Yeah. It's like, I'll always make the beats. It's kind of like my main, like, creative outlet, I guess. Mm -hmm. It's like scratching in it. It's like you've got to do <laughs> it sometimes. But, yeah, the, the recording has is, is become, like, a, a bigger focus at the moment because you get to work on so you know so many genres like yeah, yeah. Could be working with like a rock band folk singer a pop singer a rapper like it's my way of kind of having like a creative input on so many genres it's that collaborative process as well Definitely. where you're sort of you're working with other musicians yeah. other artists to create something that maybe they're you know initial idea but you're helping to see that yeah through. yeah and i don't think either the you know it's not um you don't have to choose between one or the other i make beats i'm a you know recording engineer those worlds cross over in so many interesting Definitely, ways yeah. you know especially you're talking about drums before you know integrating live drums mm -hmm. into hip-hop and that style of production, so exciting. Yeah, so definitely. many amazing records that do that. Mm -hmm. you know. Is there any are there any um any artists, any bands that you've worked with recently or you're collaborating with at the moment that Yeah, there's the what's been a massive help is having the contact with the Royal Northern College of Music, putting out that contact sheet right. because obviously Spirit have got a huge amount of people ready to record and they've got a huge amount of musicians ready to be recorded. So yeah. as soon as the sheet came out, I was just kind of firing emails out like crazy. I think the, the biggest thing to take advantage of at the moment is having access to all these studios right. uh, for free. So I can kind of, you know, free studio time, free studio time. Like I'm just, you're in a band, free studio time. <laughs> like totally just hassling so many people to, kind of take advantage of it yeah and actually that's not an opportunity that always comes up a lot from a band perspective yeah of course uh, so i think the opportunity to get into the studio um and for yourself then is it is it about kind of recording as many things as you can to build up that experience did you have a particular you know i go mostly for rock bands or it's like singer songwriters at the moment yeah i mean at the moment it's kind of been rock stuff right. you know i've started like recording my friends bands and stuff yeah I've done done some rock stuff, but I mean, I've worked on, like, recently I helped out um, someone in my class we did. Uh, she was a folk singer, and she brought this piano player, and he he was, like, crazy, like, you know, I was like, I don't even know how to mic up a piano, and, like, I had to do loads of research, and that was one of the funny sessions, so okay. it's, at the moment, I'm just open to kind of doing anything i can get my hands on for That's experience idea. yeah definitely put yourself in those positions where you think well i'm recording a piano tomorrow so mm -hmm. gotta figure out my stereo yeah mic that's it and, yeah uh did you record that in here yeah in we did it in the c24 yeah okay that was kind of the first time i'd, I'd you know really use this space yeah. um but it was great this, like i say the session was so fun um hopefully they're coming back to do some more stuff excellent hopefully we're not scared them off <laughs> if our how long it took to, to mic it up. <laughs> no, you're being diligent. It's the details. That's it. The, and that's the other thing is things like that, like the speed of a, of a session, mm -hmm. it is important. But at a certain point, it's just about working through, figuring out what works best. Yeah. And um, the, the more sessions you do, the more pianos you record in that example, yeah, it'll just yeah, become yeah. more fluid in the yeah, same definitely. way that now patching in the microphones, you know, easy enough. First time I tried doing that, I was like, okay, really got to work through this and you know figure out exactly where it's going and don't drop it um yeah, yeah. what did you go for in the end uh setup wise for that piano so let me think we had um we had the akg 451s kind of close miking yeah 
and we had the the four one fours at the back of the piano. Cool. I read a sound and sound article about picking up the low end, and then in the room we had I can't remember what, what mics we had in the room, but we had a stereo configuration in the room. Nice. And it sounded really good. I mean, I'm biased because you know <laughs> I recorded it, but that sounds like how I would approach it. They were well. happy with it, yeah. so. Have there been any particular um, modules or things that you've learned in sessions that you've found, you know, especially useful? I mean, a lot a lot of it is kind of um, down to the tutors, you know, because all the tutors are like, you know, in the in the industry still. So it's just kind of little, little pieces of advice and stuff they can give that they wouldn't be able to if they weren't doing it themselves all the time. That is some of the most valuable stuff. Right. Um, and that that that's applied to every module, but again, my recording module, you know, Mark is a full time um, engineer, mm. producer, and just little things that that he says, you know, in your session, do this, you know, because if you do that, this, you know, just like stuff running smooth, it's just things you wouldn't even think of. Yeah. But it's like, thank God he told me that. You're you right. Know? Yeah. It's a, it's a lot. It's a lot of that stuff. Have you found? spirit generally to be that kind of collaborative place is that opened up new opportunities for yeah, you yeah definitely i mean just take it into a smaller context and so not just spirit but just my class right. you know there's there's so many um musicians that, like it's so diverse in terms of like what music people like um instruments you know we've got drummers guitarists singers rappers uh, like beat makers it's it's huge and you know you'd kind of be stupid not to take advantage of, of having all these people at your disposal disposal to kind of help you and learn from and, and work with. Yeah, It's like, uh, you know, when I got into the recording, like the, the first session we did was from a friend's band, which I was so nervous. Like I had, I had like someone from my class like, come and help me. Having two of you like at the start is, takes the pressure off so much, like setting up time, problem solving, and you're trying to figure out why. This DI is not working, <laughs> but there's two here to solve it. It's always phantom power. So yeah, <laughs> and then flick the lift up, or you're yeah. gonna get a lot of buzz. But um, but yeah, definitely, and just everyone kind of uses each other. It's like, oh, I need a guitarist for this. I need a drummer for this. I need a singer for this. So super collaborative. And then even you know, I've collaborated with people outside of my course. Yeah. Um, it, it's like um, it feels like a family. You know, everyone's kind of here for the same reason and kind of wanting to do the same thing. So super collaborative place, I think. Yeah, definitely. Great. That's good to hear. We'll wrap it up there, I think, mm -hmm. actually, then, Harvey. This has been, it's been great catching up with you. I've not seen you for a while. I know. Well, next year for Major Project, um, I, uh, for the music production um, side of things, because it runs side by side with EMP and P, electronic music. Yeah, so yeah, you, yeah. you kind of... Uh, simultaneously are doing the sort of same module and it culminates in the in the final year show but music production side of things that's a class that i run so cool. next year we'll be back in in the studio again look forward to hearing some uh, red hot chili peppers in class <laughs> i kind of missed out on it this year no no other tutor has been playing red hot chili peppers in class i haven't stopped so, <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> good to hear it's good to hear great cheers harvey thanks Thank very you. much If you'd like to learn more about Spirit Studios or find any more information on the courses that we offer, then please visit us at our website at spiritstudios.ac.uk.